So if he can't see the ball until we're kind of forward already, it gives him, even if it's just a tenth of a second and the ball's going 60 miles an hour, that's, that's a lot of time, okay? So when you go to that wind up, get the elbow up, 90 degrees on your right arm. You use so much of that. So what the way to describe it is, just a little bit of power screen, a little bit. So put your, put your left hand at the bottom of the stick, Except Three to your left hip. Except last night. Put your right hand where it would be if you were if your arms were touching your hips. That's how far apart your hands. Yeah. Okay. Passing and shooting. That's the. Your hip width is how far they should be apart. All right. Now, when you're passing and shooting, you want to be able to fit a basketball in between your chest, your shaft, and your arms. Okay. So you don't want to be like this. You don't want to be like this. You want to have it just like this. Okay. You need to fit a basketball, volleyball, whatever it may be, a beach ball in between your arms, okay? When you come back, so take your left hand off the stick, come back like you were gonna shoot, see, perfect, 90 degrees. You want 90 degree angle on that right elbow every single time. So this is another thing you can do, work on one hand, all right? That'll work on the strength of those smaller muscles. So when you come back, it's the same thing, just your left hand off the stick. When you come forward, you want the shaft Hit your elbow pretty much. Your heel might be a little lower than your elbow. All right, so let me see you do that one. Hand up, a little higher. There you go, just like that. You want your top hand right about the top of your ear. Okay. If you drop your top hand, naturally the motion is going to be like that. Sidearm. You don't want to shoot sidearm. If you drop your hand even more, naturally your stick's actually going up. The ball's going to go up. You want the ball to either go straight or downwards from where you're shooting. Okay. Yeah. So it's always like this, a lot easier to shoot down there, then it doesn't have to do a whole lot if you're shooting up high, but if it shoots low, that's a lot of movement, okay? Get that hand up, there you go, just like that. It takes strength, it really does. You gotta use every single muscle in that arm and shoulder, just whip it forward. Good, just like that. Now put the other hand on the stick. Perfect. Remember, always being able to get that this hand stays below this hand at all times, okay? So even when I'm here, the head of my stick is up, my shaft or the butt end is below, my eyes with my right hand is right about my ear, okay? As soon as you drop that down, what does that have an opportunity for? Exactly, just like you You don't think it's gonna happen, but it'd be embarrassing if it does. Goalies do it actually a lot when they come back throw the ball, they'll drop the head of their stick like that and it'll roll right into the goal. I've seen it happen. That's something you want to absolutely avoid. As quick as you can, you want to do it, let's say if you're gonna do 30 of them, you want to be able to do that in 40 seconds. So it's quick, one after another. Step every time, though. step every time. There you go. Get your hips used to moving. Because unless you're right around the crease, you're probably gonna be moving your feet when you shoot. More, more likely than not. There you go. Let's see if you can do it with your left hand. Hold on, put it, put it back in your right hand. Now let's pretend we're switching to our left hand. Nope. What's, what, what's going wrong there? The face of my stick is out. Always pretend there's a piece of gum from your mouth to the head of your stick. That stick never turns away from you, okay? If you turn it like this, the ball can come out pretty easily, all right? If you turn it like this, that ball's not going to come out. So when you're switching hands, actually this is a great teaching moment. So you're going from your right to your left hand. It's called a split dodge or you're just switching hands. So we're going to do it just standing here, okay? So top hand up a little higher. Bring the, sh the, the butt end down, straight down. As soon as your hands hit, they switch. See that? As soon as your hands hit, they switch. Every single time. As soon as your hands hit, they switch. Always the face of the stick facing your face, okay? So when you actually do a split dodge, you're coming at the guy, you're going to pivot with your right foot like you're juking in football or soccer, but you're, the stick's coming with you, okay? It's very important to remember, the stick's got to go with you. You can't go without the stick, okay? If you play without a stick, you'll get in trouble. I've tried to do that before. I don't recommend it, all right? So let me see you switch from your right to your left. There you go. Now get it back up like you're shooting with your left hand. What foot are you stepping with? There you go. Always, always, always step directly at your target. So let's say... I'm the goalie, where are you going to step? It's, looks like it's going that way, right? You want it right at me. Turn your hips a little bit, turn your shoulders. There you go. Just like that. 
So when you turn, so you're starting here, turn your feet so, actually let's make it easy. Turn your feet so the toes are facing me right now. Good. So, hands come back, shoulders turn a little bit. When you step, everything comes at the same time, okay? That's how you get power. You don't have to be the strongest guy in the field of lacrosse. That's what's really nice about this sport. If you have the proper form, you're gonna have one of the fastest shots, regardless if you're strong or not, okay? So let me see you take a, sh take a shot. There you go. One thing that I noticed, when you're coming through with your left hand, your top hand is getting really close to your ear up here. Remember, what your elbow doing? 90 degrees, 90 degrees every single time, okay? So if you're at 90 degrees, you have a lot more momentum coming for you, okay? There you go, better. Good. Always, always think about it. Now actually, it's perfect. Go to your, just your left hand on the stick. Put your hand up a little higher. So actually, is there tape in that? Is there a bucket? Is there tape in that bucket? One thing that I want you to do, remember how I showed you to put your hands how far apart they are? Do you have that piece of tape?